The NMOD Convention and the Additional Protocol 1 were drafted in different institutional contexts. The NMOD Convention under the auspices of the United Nations and Additional Protocol 1 through a process for updating IHL treaties. But they were negotiated at the same time and they deal with the same subject matter. Obviously, the drafters of each text were aware of how the other was developing and the final texts employ similar terminology. However, they were designed to achieve different purposes. The purpose of Additional Protocol 1's provisions on the environment is to protect the natural environment from certain means and methods of warfare. The Handmod Convention aims at protecting the environment when belligerents attempt to de deliberately manipulate the environment as a means or methods of warfare. Even if certain means and methods of warfare, such as the use of nuclear weapons, could fall under the prohibitions of both texts, the scope of application is different in several respects. The Additional Protocol 1 may first appear wider than the Enmod Convention, as it prohibits any means or methods of warfare seriously damaging the natural environment, irrespective of whether the effects were central or incidental to the attack. Under the Enmod Convention, the only means or methods of warfare which are prohibited are those involving serious damaging manipulation of natural environment. And only if such a damaging manipulation is deliberate and not incidental. That having been said, the Additional Protocol 1 is more restrictive in many other respects. Firstly, it applies only in armed conflicts, and in particular, only in international armed conflicts. The Enmod Convention applies both in times of peace and war. It may therefore prohibit any serious damaging manipulation of the environment in a non-international armed conflict, provided that such a manipulation inflicts damage to another state party. Second, both texts refer to similar adjectives to qualify the prohibited damage to the natural environment, but they may have a different meaning. In particular, under the Enmod Convention regime, long-lasting means a period of months or approximately a season or more, while long-term in Additional Protocol 1 refers to decades. The understanding annexed to the Enmod Convention expressly states that the definition given to these adjectives are intended exclusively for the Convention and do not prejudice the interpretation of similar terms when used in any other international agreement. This implicitly refers to Additional Protocol 1. Third, and more fundamentally, under the Enmod Convention, those adjectives are alternative criteria, while under the protocol, they must be cumulatively met.